Well, hey, baseball fans, welcome to another showdown out here at the Manshack Baseball Complex. Today's match between the Rangers and the Braves, 8U style, should be a good one. Rangers, McClendon's Rangers, that is, batting first. Silas, the leadoff, number four, doesn't waste any time. One pitch, one hit to right field, and he's got those Rangers starting in the right direction, wearing those powder blue uniforms. Braves, of course, in the red looking for their first win of the season and trying to get things going in that direction. Number seven, Hudson, batting in the two hole for the Rangers, swings at the first pitch and it's a strike. And Hudson can put a little velocity on that bat. You can tell he finds it that time, puts it in the gap between third and shortstop and he is gonna advance the base runner ahead of him who gets to third and now a throw home to try to keep him from going, but he's going anyway. And the tag is made. How about that, Matthew? Number 12, the first baseman coming over to cover home and makes the play, tagging Silas out at the plate. And so a big time play heads up there by the Braves defense. Hudson safe on two for the time being. And number eight, Cooper fouls one to start his at bat. Batting in the three hole and does have a potential runner in scoring position. But what a start for that Braves defense. Look at Matthew over there playing first, really feeling it. And a big shot there, a pop-up. Gets to the grass, drops in front of the left fielder. And a run home, it's RBI. Throw in to Matthew, gonna try to hold him and chase him down at three. It'll go down as an RBI triple for the batter and a good start for this Rangers offense to put a run on the board already and so both squads showing that they can play their positions whether they're hitting or whether they're fielding left hander number five sends one pitch sky high drops fair just past the dirt RBIs Cooper as he comes in and Ryan doesn't need much time to show what he can do swinging that bat as well and two runs scored here in the top of one. Next batter up, another left-hander. It's Holden, number six. And he steps in the box with a guy on one and takes a swing foul. And so some of these batters get up to the plate and they like to feel the tempo, the speed of the pitch and will watch it. Others aggressively take the first pitch and then six lays one down trickle style towards first. And all pitcher can do is run over there. Now he throws it past Matthew over his head, puts his head, hands on his own head, saying, oh, no, what have I done? It sends a couple of Rangers to the next bases. And then Matthew, as we've seen him do so far in the top of this inning, using his feet as well as his arms to chase runners and hold them at their respective places. Guys in scoring possession for the Rangers. Next pitch on its way as the right-handed batter, Parker, number nine, Batting in the six hole, up at the plate now. Next pitch, zipped in, and he fouls one back. He's close, and will wear a strike there with that foul ball. Good looking weather today. Wind rather calm, no rain, still conditions. And nine finds it, just what he needed. Shortstop hits his glove, knocks it down. Nine will RBI a run, taking it to three, safe on one in the runner on second because of where that ball was hit. Knew better, better than to run into that out. A lot of times you see that ball hit to that shortstop area and the runner just goes. It was no force. He didn't have to, and in this case he didn't. And it works out for the Rangers. And number three, Bryson decides to take a swing at that first one but can't find it, so he's got strike one on him now. Next pitch off the toe of the catcher, but three took it anyway. And with two pitches, he's already got two strikes. One out so far. And a pop up foul. All heads turn towards that third base dugout, which is where Bryson's ball went. And he's alive still for his next pitch. Runners on one and two. 
And a foul ball there. No, he didn't get it. I thought he hit some of it, but it looks like he didn't. It just kind of ricocheted off of the catcher. And a strikeout on the books, and the Braves have two. Carlos, number 12, takes a rip. No luck. Strike one for his first pitch. Each batter, of course, gets five. And so got a lot of room left in the at-bat. Inside pitch, he takes it, hits it on the inside barrel of the bat, and Matthew collects it for the ground out, and that'll end the first, the top of the first. Three runs scored for the Rangers on six hits. Two guys left on, and the leadoff for the Braves, Ryan, number 11, up first, takes a swing, can't find it. Certainly no stranger to putting the ball in play, batting leadoff for these Braves. Got three to make up in this inning for the Braves squad. And the second pitch right up the alley. Pitcher couldn't handle it. And 11 runs through the bag like he's coached, and that's where he'll stay. And it's a good start for the leadoff man in the Braves offense. Number eight is Luke, and he's the left-hander. And he likes to bat there, you see, with his toes on the what would be a line there if the box was drawn. Later in the day, these boxes get erased with all the pitter-patter feet. And eight drives one up the alley, gets past the infield, all the way to right center. It's going to round the base for the guy ahead of him. And he's now going to come home, and this is going to turn into an RBI play coming at home, but not there in time. And Luke can go ahead and advance to the third base. It'll go down as an RBI triple. We won't count the errors and the pass balls. They're frequent. And we drive ourselves nuts trying to keep up with those. So we'll call that an RBI triple. A quite productive at bat for the number two hole batter, Luke. And Matthew, number 12, who had that tag out at home at the top of the first, up now for his first at bat. And uh, father-son pitch batter situation here as Cardwell throws the first one to him. Pitch number two on its way. And Matthew takes it, pops it up, and nearly caught by the catcher. He lives to see a third pitch, dodges a big bullet there. Only thing perhaps catcher could have done is flip that mask and seen it better. But he was in position, had a glove on the ball, just didn't squeeze it. And Matthew, with a strike, can take another pitch. Guy on three. And Matthew goes down to the basement to get it, hits it. Long throw at first, not in time or caught. Luke comes home to score the second run of the inning for the Braves, and Matthew has an RBI single at his first at bat. Powerhouse hitter Micah, number five, the righty, in the cleanup spot for the Braves. Needing to drive a run in here in the form of Matthew on one to tie things up. And the pitch is low, but five decides to take a cut at it anyway. And then a point from the pitcher over to the third base coach to say perhaps listen to a little coaching. Pitchers aren't supposed to give the coaching. Cardwell delivers. And a chase up high, but it works out bunt style. Micah is going to try to get the bag touch before the ball comes in. He does. It's a pass ball, in fact. And so Matthew will go ahead and round third, come on home, and the ball game's tied. And then a pass ball to pitcher will send Micah on to three. And here he comes at home, but I think he actually got out at third base. Not sure if he came off the bag and was tagged outside the base path. Couldn't quite tell what was happening there, but nevertheless, one out recorded in a tie ball game here. Number nine, Ricky, the right-hander batting in the five spot, takes a cut at the first one. And no luck found. Four pitches remaining. And therefore can be as selective as you want to be here early on in the at-bat. Next pitch is inside. And maybe on purpose. Popped up and third base catches it for a pop-out. Gives himself a little head nod form of a fist pump. And the second out recorded for those Rangers. Still tied, knotted at three, as number three Porter in the sixth spot steps up to play. Bases are cleared. 
And two outs. Cardwell asking Coach to put Porter a little closer to the bag, or rather plate. And an inside pitch, perhaps on purpose. Anytime one of those pitchers feel like the batter is too far off the plate, he might try to help out a little bit, throw one more in his wheelhouse. Of course, you'd rather the batters just measure up, get themselves in good position, and you can just aim for the plate, which is a safer way to throw the ball. And next pitch, held off of. Another discussion between pitcher and third base coach there is Porter still alive. Now he's taking some instruction from the coach and also first base coach, pumping him up, giving him some instruction. Daniel, the umpire, calling most all these games out here at the 8U level, so thankful for him. And a foul ball as three hangs. Most of the time, these pitchers, like I said, aren't supposed to do the coaching. Sometimes you see some of them Mama. doing some coaching to the batter, and Daniel may let it slide. Mama. Others, perhaps more ethical, make sure they don't infringe the rule themselves. Next pitch, foul again. So three's all over it, swinging a little late on these last two. And if he can get ahead of the ball a bit, he'll certainly send one into play. And with two outs, Braves would love for him to do that as they would love to break this tie open early in the game. But can't find it there, and the third strike is a strikeout. That ends the first inning. The Braves, three runs scored to tie it, three hits. Nobody left on, and we'll go to the top of the second. Next batter is number 11, Jonathan, and he wastes no time sending one to the outfield. Almost a fly out. Left field couldn't make it. Ricochets off his glove. Jonathan heading towards second base. Throw in, <coughs> but not in time, and Jonathan safe on two and a good start for the Rangers here in the second. Next batter is Thor. Gotta love the namesake there. Right-hander batting at the bottom of the lineup for the Rangers. And loaded up late, had his hands down in front of his chest, and then when the ball was in the air, decided to load up and then never could catch up with the ball. Of course, easy for us to say, standing right behind him, watching him on film. Next one hit, and he finds a way to do it, dribbles it to the pitcher, and pitcher... Couldn't quite handle it, and so Thor is safe on one, and now is going again. And then returning to the bag, the ball wasn't near him, and so no danger, danger in turning and looking. But Thor has a base hit. That's Silas, the top of the lineup, back up. And he can really hit. And shows it there, a sky-high shot over second base. It'll RBI the run, Thor... Gets to two, and now headed to three, and they're gonna chase him there. And he is on the bag. Now they're gonna try to get Silas at two, and the ball is passed. Oh my word, the pass ball strikes again. And Thor comes in to score the second run of the inning. And now Silas all the way home. We'll call it a home run. Probably should have been a single, but the pass ball, the dangerous play at this level, takes the score to six runs in total for the Rangers. Number seven, the two-hole batter, Hudson, up now at the plate. He doubled his first at bat, so he is one for one today. And takes a swing at the first pitch and misses off the toe of the catcher. He'll go chase it down. And pitch number two of a possible five, still ahead for Hudson. Takes the second one, and this time connects, but foul over his right shoulder. And Hudson's got two strikes. Now's the time the coaches start encouraging him to be choosy, be selective, don't waste that third strike, but he doesn't. He finds it. Good shot out to left field, being chased by the outfield now. Hudson <clears throat> around first base to second, still going. Ball's not going to be in in time. He's going to make it all the way home, I'll bet you. Here he comes. All the way there before the ball's even thrown to make a play. And Hudson has the first home run for the Rangers. I say first home run. Silas just homered, I guess you could say, with the pass balls. Just like the Rangers hope to 
have this second inning unfold. They've got seven runs as Cooper, number eight, the right-hander, in the box now. Watches the first pitch go by, and I'll point out that Cooper watched that ball all the way back. you got to appreciate any batter who actually keeps their eye on the ball. Even when they don't swing, they watch it back. Shows that they're forming a good habit. And that time, maybe I spoke too soon, might have been a head that got pulled out. Sometimes when you swing, it's harder to keep that chin down and watch that ball. So three pitches, one strike, got two left. Cooper RBI'd his last one. And looking to do similar here, though there's nobody on base, so for him, he'll just be getting on. Next pitch on its way and found foul. And eight hangs in there to see another last pitch opportunity. Hey, Luke, he's got a swing. Got a swing. Be ready. And you always wonder if it's really making sense in these batters' head that they've got to, and he does. He understands the game. That was an outside pitch. He knew he had to chase it, did, and found it, and stays alive. And that's how this level of baseball is played. Last pitch. Connected with deep left field in the grass. And Cooper coming to two. Ball coming in as well. And stand up style. Now he's going to go on to three as it wasn't handled. Throw trying to be made. Caught. Safe for the moment. And Cooper on third. <coughs> Ryan, who RBI singled his last at bat, up now. Got a guy on three. Has a four-run advantage currently. Chases a pitch there, can't find it. <clears throat> and Ryan, with a strike, swings at the next one. No luck, and two strikes on the batter. A base hit, likely. Score the run and in the inning. And it will. It drops fair. And this will be the fifth run. And that'll end the top of the second. With a five run advantage, the Rangers will go to the field feeling a little confident with the output of that one. Next batter up, I believe, is number 10, Ethan. And Ethan plays catcher quite a bit and throws a good ball back to the pitcher, keeping things moving. <coughs> Second pitch about to be on its way by Cardwell, who <coughs> finds his place on the mound. It's no lightweight job throwing these pitches to these batters. And throws one there. Ethan takes a swing, can't find it. First at bat for Ethan today, here in the second. Leading off the inning. Loads up, squares up, and takes this one and is gonna put it in play. Pitcher gonna come over here and try to get it and throw not in time. And Ethan has himself a base hit. Lucas due up next in the order. Wearing number six. And got a bit of an open stance here. Got a guy on one. A little conversation from Cardwell to the third base. Try to get him to move up a little bit. Stick that bat out and measure up over the plate. And the pitch a bit inside to where he could reach it. Takes a swing. But for head, perhaps those eyes didn't stay glued to that ball and couldn't find it there for a strike one. Still four pitches left, and that's what these coaches are explaining. <clears throat> Measure up, eye on the ball, keep the fundamentals in play. You see Cardwell there on the mound pointing towards the plate. Want to get him a little closer. And a good-looking pitch there, so it was the right one to swing at, but couldn't put that bat on the ball. And two pitches in, number six has two strikes on him. <laughs> Braves looking to cut into that lead that the Rangers put on with that productive inning. 
And a third strike there will end the batters at bat. One strike, or excuse me, one out on the strikeout. Ethan still on one. And it's Austin, number four, the right-hander, up at the plate for the first time today. And he is going to swing at the first pitch. Might have missed over top the ball. Couldn't find it there. And Cardwell coming over here to the side to collect the, the throwback down. See if he can't save his batter from being in between the throwback and taking a ball to the body. Second pitch over the plate as well. Another good one to swing at. And not a bad looking swing, I might add. No dice. And strike two on the card. Lots of time left in the ball game. Play an hour and 15 minutes. It's a running clock. And strike three. So unlucky for four. Two strikeouts in a row, and the Rangers have two down. Bottom of the lineup is number one, Logan, batting in the 10th spot today. Right-hander. And of course, of course, Coach is a right-hander himself, so right-handed pitching, right-handed hitting. Take a moment to fix a shin guard slash knee pad on this catcher. Good looking pitch over the plate. Logan took the swing but didn't put the velocity needed to catch up with that ball. As the year goes on, you see a lot of these players swing start to improve with bat speed. And a swing there. Logan had his eyes back towards pitcher though the whole time. Hard to hit a ball you can't see. Another fixable part of the at-bat for these youngsters. As Daniel doing his part, showing some benevolence from behind home plate, strapping up a shin guard. If we all had a nickel for every time one of those suckers pop loose, we'd be rich folks. And unlucky for one, <clears throat> strikes out, three strikeouts to end the second, and the Rangers maintain that five-run lead that they put on in the top of two. As we go to the top of three, and they'll have a chance to add to it a little more if they can. First pitch is hit by number six. And how about the fly out by shortstop Ryan? Caught it right in his glove. Unlucky because it was a line drive hard hit. And he just stuck his hand up there and said, no, one pitch, one hit, one out. And that's just the way the Braves drew this one up to start as they need to put on a defensive clinic here to climb back into this ballgame. Next pitch is hit by number nine, Parker. Back to the same guy. Play not there in time. In fact, Matthew playing first couldn't collect the ball. Gets past him, and so the base runner gets ahead to two, turns and look, and Ricky at three will catch it, hold the runner at two. But it'll go down as a double in our books, and the Rangers starting where they left off. Number three is Bryson. And... Bryson struck out his first at bat, but he puts one close to in play. It rolled foul, unlucky for him. He was sprinting and hustling to first base, like your coach to do, and it just rolled foul before he could get there. Next pitch is swung and missed for strike two. And just one more strike remaining for him before he would strike out, and he does. So number three... Bryson, two back-to-back -back strikeouts, 0 for 2 today, as number 12, Carlos, who grounded out earlier, steps up to the plate. First pitch, on its way, found foul over his right side. Every time that ball on a right-handed hitter goes foul to the right, usually means the batter was a little late swinging, maybe late loading up, and can't find it there, and 12 has two strikes. Still a five-run advantage for these Rangers. And Carlos swings for the moon, can't find it. And a third strikeout ends the inning. And so back-to-back, -back, three ups and three downs in this ball game. We stay 8-3 as we go to the bottom of the third. Ryan, the leadoff, starts things off where he left off and gets on one with a base hit single, safe and sound. And so two at-bats and two base hit singles for him. He's two for two today. 
And one of the reasons why he's batting leadoff. A sure hitter at the plate. And now eight, number, uh, number eight, Luke, rather, who's pretty good in his own right with toes on the line, the left-hander. Takes one, first pitch, right to pitcher, gets past his glove. Second, can't make the throw in time. First doesn't make the catch, and runners will advance. Braves now parked on two and three and in scoring position. And this is the start they needed if they're going to try to climb back in this game here in the bottom of three. Matthew, number 12, can really slug it. We've seen him do it. Had a single, his first at bat, and got around and scored himself before things were all said and done. And hammers that plate into the ground. Little pre-hit routine here. Pitch on its way, hit, and fouled. And so hit the bottom of the ball as it fouled up high behind him. Lives to see his second pitch here. And measures up a bit with that right hand. One of the more animated batters. Got to appreciate that. Next pitch way outside, and he knows better than to try to take a cut at that one. Go ahead and leave it alone. And he's got pitch number three coming up next here. Runner in scoring position, two and three. Next pitch delivered and found high. Popped up right up the alley. It will RBI one run. They're going to try to throw it to first. He's already there. So now the second run will come on in. So Matthew, a two run RBI single for his second at bat. And the Braves now within three. Number five, worn by Micah, takes his place in the box, that right-handed hitter. And now he'll have a chance to send a guy around with a line drive shot, low pitch, and Micah doesn't even flinch at it. Says, I'll wait for a better one. And as I mentioned earlier, it's no knock on these pitchers. It is not an easy task throwing these balls. Trying to not bruise the batter, but giving them something they can hit. Trying to throw a big meatball up, and there it is. Hit right back to pitcher. High, arcing throw to first. Not in time. Over his head. Mike is going to take two. Matthew on to three. And a run in from first base, who collected the pass ball, holds both runners there. And Ricky. Number nine, the right-hander, up again. For the second time today, Ricky, of course, flew out to third base his first at bat. See if he can't drive one this time and not give the Ranger defense a chance to catch one in the air. Micah on two, Matthew on three, ready to be RBI'd. And Ricky steps back away from the plate as he takes a cut. Again, it's an advantage sitting here behind these batters watching them play. You can kind of start to see where their strengths are and where their growth areas are. Ricky or stepping backwards. Found it that time though. Right up the alley to pitcher. Matthew comes home. Ricky's there in time. And Micah on third and a run scored. And so Ricky doing his part with some offensive production with his at bat as Porter number three back in the box for the second time today. Porter 0 for 1 and his at bat struck out first time. Takes a little Adjustment from third base coach moves towards the plate and takes a swing and finds it right to second base off the glove ricochets into the outfield Micah comes home one run down now and Ricky making his way over to third and a good RBI single and Thought Ricky was gonna try to come home there for a minute, but they throw it in to catcher to stop the bleeding and the Braves within one Number 10, Ethan, who I've enjoyed watching play catcher. He throws a good ball back to the pitcher. And I know those pitchers of the opposing teams appreciate that as well. And a good looking athletic stance and position as he watches that ball come in outside, gets the thumbs up from coach saying, yep, right decision to lay off of that one. Digs his feet in, takes a practice swing, puts the load up, pitch zipped. And hit right back at him. Pitcher couldn't handle it over the top of his head. And he's safe on one. All they can do is hold it. Ricky scores. And that'll end the third with the five-run rule in effect in the Braves offense.
coming up big, doing just what they needed to do here in the bottom of three. Tied at eight, top of four. Rangers back up, the visiting team. Big hit by number 11, Jonathan, to the outfield. And it's foul. Close. And he gets the, it was close, remarks from the pitcher coach, pumping him up. And so 11, showing that he can really swing that bat. Had a double his first time up. Next pitch on its way. Hit fair this time, right in the gap between short and third. Short trying to make his way over to it, couldn't in time. Now we'll catch it in the form of the cutoff. <coughs> and Jonathan has himself a base hit. Number two, Thor, gotta love that name. Up at the plate, batting at the bottom of the lineup. Stepped back out of the box, can't hit a ball you can't reach. And he's got a first strike. Four singled his first at bat. And so looking to ride the momentum of that one. Second pitch, found it, dribbles it to pitcher. Left side, that's the direction you want to hit if you're gonna lay a bunt down going to first base. It's a harder, longer throw. And I believe it was in time. And Thor is out at one, but a good hit from him. Gotta love the progress some of these kiddos are making. Come on. Hey Luke, coming your way, be ready. And the bat is swung by the leadoff, Silas Fowl. Silas, another one of those players where you just have a high level of belief that something's gonna happen productively, offensively when he's up at the plate. An athletic kid batting leadoff. Did ground out his first at bat, but homered his second and now found it right to shortstop commotion there tag not made trying to make the force out at two and not caught and now the third base runner going to come on home so the braves were in position but couldn't handle it there and now the out i think at three is made base runner advances to two the ball's thrown in late i think the out was called at three which is why the catcher wasn't watching and so I misspoke. Thor was actually safe on one, and that was him there. And out at three now. So just one out for these Rangers as they're trying to add their lead total. Have so far by just one run in this inning. But the Braves doing a good job on that last play to hang in there with the play and get that out. Number seven, Hudson, big swing, miss, strike one. Hudson's been productive today. Two for two. And... Got a double his first time and then homered his second one. So he can swing that bat and puts one nearly in play short style, but doesn't. Rolls foul. Ethan, the catcher, collects and throws sure-handedly back to the pitcher. And a little shin guard adjustment. Ethan says, I'll take care of my own shin guards. Thank you. Pitcher delivers. Bat is put on the ball. Pitcher can't make it. Right up the alley, gets to the left center fielder. And then a good throw in to stop anything else from happening. And so it's a single there. <clears throat> Guys on the corners for the Rangers as they're looking to add to their lead. It's kind of been Rangers score, Braves catch up. Rangers keep out in front, Braves come again. And the Braves will need a, a time at some point to try to take over the lead. But the Rangers flexing and saying we're not letting you so far. Next batter, number eight, Cooper, up at the plate, takes the first one. Had an RBI his first at bat, and a triple his next. And then a big shot there, and caught by Ethan for the out, a fly out. You don't see too many catchers making the pop out, but you just did right there. How about number 10, heads up play, puts the fist in the glove, commanding things from back behind the plate like catchers are supposed to do. I'm impressed. Next batter. Number five finds a hole through second base. That's Ryan all the way to the field, safe at one. Now <clears throat> going to continue on from second to third. Runners on the corners again for the Rangers. And they've improved their lead by two here. And so Braves trying to do what they can. What we've got is good competition. Both these teams keeping the throttle down. Six finds it. Also right side of second base. Going to be a base hit. Play trying to be made at second. Runner Ryan going on to three and came off the bag. 
Hit three, should have slid. And he's out. They tag him out. That ends the inning. Three run advantage for the Rangers as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Braves back up today. And six, Lucas. Going to see if he can improve on those that strikeout that he had earlier. Pitch number two. Left the hand of the pitcher, watched by the batter, and staying alive for some more at-bats, or pitches rather at the at-bat. Getting a little coaching from first base coach and third base coach. There, you gotta like it when they're coachable. Saw the point, say, hey, come into the plate, and he did just that. But stepped back out, unfortunately, and couldn't reach the ball, and has another strike. Lucas batting eight. Braves needing some runs here. Let's see if they can't put the ball in play. Rangers defense in the infield, all with their toes on the grass. So it'd be a good time to pop one over their heads. And an outside pitch swung at, unfortunately, by six. That strikes him out. And the Rangers have their first out of the fourth. Tall number four, Austin, up at the plate, and he, too, struck out his last at bat, and so he'll look to do differently here. Good-looking pitch over the plate. It's a right one to swing at, but perhaps, again, the bat speed just not fast enough, and he couldn't find it, and he's got a strike. Pitch number two, also over the plate, and another wise decision to swing. They say, just swing at the ones you like. Well, you have to like that one. It was right where it needed to be, but missed over the top of the baseball. And two pitches in, four has two strikes. Pitch number three. Oh, I don't know if he went around. He thinks he did. He's walking like he's going to the dugout. And Daniel, <coughs> the umpire, intervenes and says, nah, we'll call that a cut swing. You're still alive. Take your fourth pitch. So two strikes. Two pitches left, and trying to get Austin to scoot up to the plate a little bit. Coach is waiting on him to do it, and finally does it enough to convince him. Throws one inside for him, and decides to not take it. So we are in a last pitch, must swing situation for Austin, and everybody's telling him so. And so you just want to make sure he knows to do it, and does, but can't find it. So if you're going to strike out, strike out swing. Get that K facing the right direction forward. Two outs for the Rangers. They just need one more to hold their three-run lead. Number one, Logan, who also struck out his last at bat 0 for 1, steps backwards from the plate and misses the ball. Got to step back towards pitcher. That's why these videos, for instance, can be so helpful. If Logan and guys like him watch it back, they can see perhaps what they're doing. And a better look there as he doesn't step out quite as bad but the bat never reached the ball and never had a chance and he's got two strikes and the rangers just need one more to end the inning and there it is same result it's a strikeout three guys up three guys down same result as the second inning and the rangers will go to the top of the fifth feeling good with a three-run lead as they go to bat <clears throat> number nine finds it that's parker but it's foul down the third base line and he's close, maybe a little early. Measures up, batting with a semi-closed stance, and then scoots back for the inside pitch. Says there's no use wearing one, not at this level anyway. No candy bars handed out for bruises, so at least certainly no bases handed out. Next pitch, a good-looking cut. Stepped into it heavy right up the alley, and nine singles to one, and he'll hold there for a good start. For the Rangers. Next batter is Bryson. And he's got a couple of strikeouts. 0 for 2 today. Going to see if he can't change that. And he does right there. Hits it to first base, but right to the baseman. And he steps on the bag for the out. Going for the double play. Trying to throw it to 2, but it's a pass ball. And so the runner... And the former Parker is going to go ahead and get to three, so unlucky. And one out down, or excuse me, two outs down. Well, the Braves now just need one more 
Time is certainly becoming an issue as it's later in the game. Number 12, Carlos pops one up, drops fair behind second base, RBIs the run. He's safe on one. It's a four-run lead now for the Powder Blue. And a good at bat for Carlos, who grounded out his first one, struck out his second one, but now is making a difference with the bat in his hand. Number 11, Jonathan, whose helmet matches his shoes and pants. I say his shoes, I guess they're black. Made me think they were a dark gray for a second. You know, the aesthetics we pay attention to. Pitch number two. Zipped out of the hand of Coach and hit by 11 and foul by a bit. I mean, just a little bit. And got a smile from Coach with the emblem of just a little bit closer, almost stayed fair and would have been a big play for the Rangers. Carlos is on one and he'd love to get around for the first time today. And Jonathan sends another one sky high. And if it's not caught, then he's safe to go again. Foul is the result. And Jonathan just finding the ball a little early. Which you prefer. If you're going to find it early or late, find it early. And this time swings and strikes out. Couldn't tell if he put a bat on the ball to stay alive. Foul tip, but didn't and strikes out. And four who's been productive today, steps back up to the plate to see what he can do again with a guy on one. And just goes ahead and backpedals out of the box for that one. Four pitches left. No strikes on him, so in good position here. A little late ball there rolling onto the field. Pitcher coach says no problem, bowls it right off. Pitch number two for Thor, on its way. And hit as he backs up. Pitcher gonna try to get it, couldn't. And so second base has got to get it, and the throw's not there in time. Thor safe on one. Guys on one and two. How about number two, Thor, coming up big for this Rangers O? And what that means is that Silas is up again for the fourth time today. And moved his feet a little bit as that ball was in the air. Guess he didn't like where he was lined up or <clears throat> perhaps trying to adjust where he thought the ball was, but certainly not advantageous to be scooting around in the box when the ball's in the air. Pitch number two. Same thing, but this time he finds it, and it rolls foul by just a scotch. And so Silas with some happy feet in the box. Has a couple strikes here. Next pitch, watched, and Silas still alive. Two outs for the Braves, just need one more. Would love to keep this run differential within that five run rule. And Silas can't find it in a rare strikeout for the leadoff. And the Braves have four to make up in the bottom of the fifth. Due up is the leadoff, number 11, Ryan. And if you got four runs to make up, he's not a bad one to have at the plate. Swings at the first one and misses strike one. Takes some instruction from the third base coach. Good coach, always coaching their players up. What the Braves are doing here. Pitch number two. Swung and missed, and Ryan has two on it. All right, hey, you got three more pitches. You're all right. Watch this one go by. In traditional baseball, would be a choke up and protect the plate situation, but being that he doesn't have to swing, whether it's a strike in the strike zone or not, means that he can keep his hands where he likes them and still be choosy with some pitches left. Next pitch towards Ryan. Coming off the hand to Cardwell, and found, and drops foul. And so Ryan trending in the right direction now, finding the ball just a little late on that one. <clears throat> and how about the athleticism from Cardwell going up, climbing the ladder to get that ball. These coaches make it out of here without any pulled hammies, they're winning. 
Ryan, little self pep talk, chin on the chest, loads up for the next pitch, and takes it right to third base, caught clean, throw, not there in time, bounces, in fact, it goes past him, and Ryan's going to go ahead and get to two at least, and stand up looking there, safe aboard with the double, and the Braves start off right to try to make up four runs here. Number eight, Luke, who's been nothing but productive. Let's go. An RBI triple, a double, and another RBI triple is all he's got on his resume today. Toes on the line, takes the first one, and I mean swings hard, it drops behind first base, fair. He's on his way, he's got some speed, he's off the two. RBI's the run, Ryan the lead off home, cutting into the lead now. And Luke safe on three, and thought about going on home. Didn't want to pickle himself, and so he stays there, and it's another big time play by Nobody's gonna get him. By Luke, the second batter. And now Matthew, the heavy-handed slugger, batting in the three-hole up again. Beats the plate, gets it just like he likes it, makes sure it doesn't fly, and kisses the barrel of the bat. How about that? Told you he's one of the more animated pre-hitters, and it works! And he puts one over shortstop's head. RBI's the runner from three. We're within two now. And Matthew on his way to two. Slide, get down, and he does. And the ball goes on past him, and he's going to get up and try to go three. No, he's going to come back. He thought about it for a second, and then in a move of elation, just drops onto the bag. He's safe aboard two with an RBI, and Matthew has also been very productive in that three-hole spot today. Braves within two in the tying run in the form of Micah at the plate now. Micah, who had an out his first at bat, has gone two for two since then. And finds this one, drops in front of first. Now first has to go cover the bag. And it works out for Micah as he's safe on one. And Matthew on three. Runners on the corners for the Braves. And now Ricky represents the go-ahead score for these Braves if he could get around. Pitch is inside, and Ricky wisely watches. 12-10 lead, Rangers. And no out so far. Ricky, off the tip of the bat, fouls it. Runners will go back to their respective bases, and Ricky staying alive. Ricky, our... Uh, got around with a, after a base hit, his last at bat. So after starting with a fly out, is definitely trending in the right direction. Let's the pitch go. Got another one coming here. Cardwell takes aim, throws what seems probably like his 165th pitch of the day. Let's go, Ricky. Definitely a wearing job. And now some instruction here to Ricky. Making sure he cognitively understands the situation, what's at stake. In the box, measured up, loaded up, and hits it right towards Cardwell's head. He ducks and misses. And it's an RBI run. Matthew comes home. It's within one. Micah around a three. And Ricky safe on one. And here comes the tying run, and it's there. Got the tip of the base, and we're knotted up at 12 with the big monster hit from Ricky. Porter, number three, now steps in to the box. And still no outs recorded, so the Braves have drawn this one up perfectly thus far. Porter in position. Outside pitch, decides to swing. Can't find it, and so it's strike one on him. Taking some instruction from third base, coach. <clears throat> it's going to take this one as well. Head may have been pulled out. Didn't see those eyes stay down on the ball, and so strike two now on the card against Porter. Cardwell asks coach to have him move up to the play a little. Nods and improvement. Or approval, rather, and it's hit foul. And Porter definitely 
getting closer. Got that recognizable hair coming out of the helmet. Brushes out of his face to see this next pitch. And steps out, but puts it in play. First base will have a chance to step on the bag for the force. Gets him out. It's the first out of the inning. And Ricky flirted with going to three. Held off. Stayed at two. One out down for the Rangers in this tie ball game here in the bottom of five. Ethan, number 10, my favorite catcher in the league, I think, up to the plate again. All he's done today is go single, single, being productive for his team. Takes his practice swing, eyes coach, loads up and holds off. Decided that one didn't look right, didn't feel right, maybe a little outside for his liking. First pitch of five, you certainly have that luxury hold off pitch number two found 10 hits it sky high in the glove of short but pops out of it and he's safe on one ricky gets the three and runners on the corners for the braves as they're close to breaking the tie open and taking the lead for what would be the first time today i think we are in a contest here folks racing for the win which would be the Braves' first of the season. Not at 12. And number six, Lucas, choking up on that bat. Back up to the plate. And takes a swing at the first one. No luck, strike one. Runners hold at one and three. There are no leadoffs or steals in this league at this level. And so these guys have to stay glued to their base. Of course, they make up for it at the next level, I promise you. Everything is a steal, and a pass ball is a score. Six takes another cut, and it's another strike. Strike two. So two pitches in, two strikes, three left. Third pitch coming up here. And swung at, but not found. Six strikes out for the third time today, unlucky. And he'll be back. And it's number four, Austin, up at the plate. Looking to see if he can't do better. He's 0 for 2, trying to drive a couple runs in. Starts with his hands back. And no luck there. Definitely swinging a little faster as the game has gone on. And so I like to see that improvement. Taking some instruction from coach over at third. Next pitch, couldn't be found, strike two. And with two outs now, the Rangers just one strike away. It's a race, certainly, and the pitch is watched. And so Austin staying alive for now. <clears throat> Runner still on one and three. Pitch incoming. Swung and missed. Strike three. That ends the inning. And so here in the fifth, four runs scored to tie things up on six hits. Two guys stranded left on. And we'll play a rare sixth inning. It's gotten this far. Tie ball game. Late in the game. Likely, almost certainly, the final inning. And the Rangers, number seven. Pipes one sky high. Ethan trying to do what he did earlier, which was catch him out. It's a fair ball for Hudson. And he grounds out. They make the play at one after all. So how about the defense for the Braves? Nearly catching him out, but when they don't, still have the wherewithal to make the throw over at one, and it's caught. And Hudson grounds out. One down for the Braves. As number eight, Cooper, steps up and takes a monster-sized swing, can't find it. Where's strike one for now? Starts loaded up and puts one line drive right to short, and it's fielded clean. Throw's going to be tried to mate at first, bounces, and then gets past the first baseman. We've seen that song before. And so now a sprint to the bag of three. And it hits Ricky. He stops it well enough. Runner safe on three. And so Cooper gets all the way around the bag with the pass ball. And the defense for the Braves showing some wheels. That's number eight, Luke, playing first base. And he can cook. 
We've seen it in his base running. Number five, Ryan pops one up high and looked like it was fair. But the base runner, or excuse me, the hitter coming on back, so it must have gone foul. Daniel has a better view of it than we do behind the plate. We're looking through human bodies, and he had an angle. So strike one for Ryan. And a foul ball leads to strike two. So both of his shots were late going third base direction. Be ready, Luke. Ryan got that closed batter stance. Finds this one right back to pitcher. And second base can't get it. Goes through both of them. And now he's on five. It scores a go-ahead run. And now he decides to go two, trying to go back to one. And a good stop there. And he's off the bag, and he's tagged out. Because he turned and looked, he didn't have the luxury of being off the bag. He needed to slide to get back to it, and he didn't. He just ran through the base the other direction, off the base, and Luke tags him out. And just like that, the Braves have two outs. They've only given up one run so far, and they'll get to bat. Again, they're the home team. And uh, watch and look for number six, Holden. He's had a productive day. He is gone. Two for three. This is his fourth at bat. Flew out for his only time he didn't get on base. Steps into this one, misses. And in the strike column now. Got another pitch. Base is emptied. And so the Rangers have some work to do to make up a bigger lead differential. You like to see Holden, how he's taking a step like he's going to swing because he's loading up, and then his head stays on the ball even though he doesn't go ahead and take the, the pitch and the cut. He's in good position. And does this time. Pops one up high. Gets all the way past the infield. going to find the grass. And Holden with a big hit for the Rangers here late in the game, trying to do his part to see if he can't secure this W. Parker, number nine who's been quite successful in the form of some RBIs and some base hits and some doubles today. Three for three. Right-hander back up at the plate. Decides he doesn't like that one. Holds off. Showing good discipline. Not his first time up at the plate, you can tell. Been here before. Starts loaded up. Finds it. And it's hit right towards second. They're going to have a chance at the play here. Second, though, decides to not make the play at one. Holds it. And runners safe on one and two. For the Rangers. Number three, Bryson, up at the plate now. Bryson struck out his first two at-bats and then grounded out. So he's looking to do better here in the sixth hole. And puts this one up behind him. Foul ball. Ethan was tracking it, but it found the fence before it dropped. Nothing you can do about that one. But he was searching. Pitch number two for Bryson. Hit! Left side, drops fair between three of them. Not sure anybody called it there. And runners advance, and the bases are loaded. Ethan, this one gets behind him, goes through his legs. Now the third base runner comes on home, and it's a two-run advantage, unlucky for the Braves. Guys now on one and two is number 12, Carlos, up at the plate. Carlos singled an RBI his last at bat after grounding out and striking out. He's one for three today, but he's... Trending in the right direction as his last at bat was productive, and he starts in the box, loaded up, waiting for pitcher. I'm here. Don't know what you're waiting on, pitcher. Pitch underway and hit foul. First base, face level high, right to the dugout. Hope, hope everybody was paying attention on that one because it was flying. So Braves are going to have a little work to do here in the bottom of six. <clears throat> Time likely has expired. And this one's hit monster high by Carlos and caught, oh my word, over the shoulder by Ryan, the shortstop. To end the inning, you won't see too many athletic plays at this level made like that. That's a baseball play, a fly out to end it and give the Braves a chance here before things got out of hand. Number one, up at the plate now, that's Logan. And Logan has struck out 0 for 2 his first at bats, third time up today. Finds it that time, rolls one trickle style bunt right towards first and is safe. Daniel's arms fly up saying it's a base hit single and for the first time today, Logan's on. 
And now you have things, if you're the Braves, where you want them, because Ryan, who's a monster in his own right, just showing us his athleticism on that last fly out, is up to bat for the fourth time today. He went single, single, double, and now he'll try to pick up where he left off and takes a swing there, can't find it, and wants to put a little drama for us all in the at-bat and has a strike. Man on one, tying run in the form of, of him, and he bunts a trickle style just like his teammate did, other direction, and he is safe at one. In fact, third base charges and doesn't even make the throw to one because Ryan was safe aboard. So now, the two-hole batter, number eight, a lefty, Luke, up, and he is the walk-off winning run if he can get around. A nail-biter for sure here, folks. Stay with us. Don't turn your head. Ryan, or excuse me, Luke, rather, decides to hold off on that pitch for left. Seeing what he can do. He's, he went triple, double, triple. So you're feeling pretty confident with him at the plate. Here comes the pitch and the swing, and it's going to be fair right down third baseline all the way to the outfield. The outfield was playing up. They got to chase it. It's going to score one run, two runs, and if Luke can get home, that would be the ball game. Here comes the ball rolling in. Catcher not charging it. He's home. That's the game. Luke with a walk-off home run, scores three, and the Braves have their first win of the season. Can you believe it? How about this? We couldn't have drawn it up if we tried. We had everything in this one. The Rangers led the whole way, and the Braves come from behind in the sixth inning, which you don't even get to, and win it and walk it off. Luke showing his prowess. Ryan with those hits. Matthew tagging out at home. What a play. We'll see you guys next time.